happy. They must have had plain and peanut M&Ms. I just got the strangest call. What? I think Lewis is pretending to be me. You're kidding. I'm not. In fact, I don't just think it. He is 100% running around town pretending to be me. And how does that make you feel? To tell you the truth, it might be one of the funniest things I've ever heard. <laughs> what is it with you two? When I found out Katrina was pretending to be me, I wanted to kill her. You look like you want to give him an Emmy. Believe me, there have been plenty of times I wanted to kill Lewis. I put him through a table a few years ago. You did? Why? I don't want to get into it. Oh, come on. He found out I slept with his sister. You slept with Lewis's sister? She doesn't look anything like him, I swear. <laughs> Wait, let me get this straight. Not only did you sleep with his sister, you beat him up because you slept with his sister. It's complicated math, but it adds up. Trust me. Well, as I see it, Lewis is jealous of you, in love with you, and intimidated by you all at the same time. Well, there's a headline from 1996. Well, here's a headline maybe you don't know. When I first met you, I was intimidated by you. You're kidding. No, you're a legend, Harvey. I'm not. I thought maybe I was as good as you, but I didn't know. Well, I'm not going to admit that you're as good as me, but I'm not going to say you're not. So, what are you going to do about Lewis? What do you say we have some fun? <laughs> OK. OK, I took care of Harold. Now, what would Harvey do? What would Harvey do? What would Harvey do? Oh, God, maybe it's a sign. Hello? Is this Harvey Specter? I need to speak to him immediately. Yeah, this is Harvey. Is this something for Ted? No, sir. I work for Harold Gunderson. I just wanted to let you know he's on his way over. Here? Yes, to your offices. He's actually getting off the elevator. I, I, well, he can't see me in here. In fact, I'm not here. I don't know what that means, sir. But he's walking towards your offices as we speak. Well, I know I said I'm not here, but I can't see him. I don't know what to tell you, sir. He's 10 feet from you. He... Five feet, three feet. He's right outside your door. How can you know that? Oh, I'm sorry. He's on the wrong floor. Oh, thank God. Nope, wrong again. Headed straight for you. God damn it, make up your mind. <laughs> Should we better my bag? Hello? <laughs> oh, my God, we better. I could see Lewis jumping out the window. <laughs> Windows didn't open. Oh, well, stop him. He's got super strength when he's cornered. Hello? Have you ever seen a badger fight a tiger? Has a badger ever fought a tiger? I'll, I'll tell you that in a minute. What are you guys doing, making sandwiches? Lewis, it's Harvey. Harold's not coming over there. He's not? He's not. What are you doing with his secretary? That wasn't his secretary. That was Samantha. She was pretending to be his secretary, just like you've been pretending to be me. Where would you get that idea? Lewis? Come on. All right, Harvey. I'm sorry. I should not have done it. I mean, one thing led to another. Now I don't have a way out. Lewis, whoever it is, you just got to come clean. OK, Harvey, I will. That was pretty kind of you. I mean, after we almost caused the poor man to have a stroke. Hey, if you can't do something to cause Lewis to have a stroke once in a while, what's the purpose of living? <laughs> <laughs>